Good morning, good morning. Just wanted to come on live this morning and uh, share a little message with you. Uh, I've been praying and just putting this message together and it's it's just quite a, it's a little message, but I just felt like it, um, it was something um, that I was reminded of, again, quite often I'm reminded of things um, quite a lot of years ago and it's almost like as I, as that, that picture comes of that little uh, reminder, that little story, it's almost like God then gets me to write something about himself and about his word from that story. So um, I've entitled this little message this morning, Kerry O'Sullivan, Kerry O'Sullivan. And uh, you might think, oh, that's, you know, why are you calling your message Kerry O'Sullivan? Well, actually, it goes back to many years ago. Um, well, it goes back to many years ago when we were in school um, in East London. We moved uh, from there to uh, Collier Row, Romford in Essex, and we went to another school. And as you know, when you go to another school, it's really hard. And sometimes people call your names and you get bullied and all that kind of stuff. And it was it was hard settling in. It was hard adjusting. It was hard with all these things. But then it was amazing because this lovely um, girl introduced herself and I think we probably were about um, maybe seven or eight at the time and she introduced herself and she said, my name's Kerry O'Sullivan. And I said, oh, that's a lovely name. And we began to become friends. We played together in the playground. We played with the skipping ropes. We played with the, you know, we used to do the juggling. Um, we used to play lots of lots of games together. And we used to, you know, to run around and we were, we were just really close and she was a lovely friend to have. And I even remember when um, it was uh, our birthday parties, when it was her birthday party, I went to her house. She had a great big family and uh, I think there were like something like seven children. And it was a lovely time just going to her house, going to her party, meeting her family. And when it was my birthday, she came to my party and she came to our house. So... It's so amazing when we look back over our life and we just see all the different things that have happened and have occurred. Some of them aren't aren't always easy and some of them aren't always nice. But then there are other little things that we look back and we realise, you know, uh, people's kindness, people's love, people's help. And as I look back over my life and I remembered about Kerry O'Sullivan and our friendship, it just really um, struck a chord in my heart. And as a matter of fact, I, I loved the name Kerry so much that when we um, had our first daughter or when we had our daughter, I should say, we've only got one daughter and one son, um, I, we called her Kerry, and uh, also Kerry, K-E-R-R-Y, Kerry in Ireland, County Kerry, is, is such a beautiful place, and I, and I spent 10 years in Ireland, so I wanted to call our daughter Kerry, um, in, in sort of remembrance of, of my friend Kerry O'Sullivan, and also, it's a beautiful name, and also because of Ireland, so... I just want to bring in now the little um, little Bible passages and what God was saying as I was just writing this little message down. You know, some friends um, can be friends for maybe a season uh, in our lives, like with Kerry O'Sullivan. It was only for maybe about, I don't know, four or five years. And then I didn't I didn't keep in touch with her. I don't know what, what happened to her life or what she's doing now. So some friendships are for a period, some some are for longer, some are, are for a lifetime. We've got all kinds of friends. But I was just thinking, um, one of the, the friends that who um, means so much to us and lasts for so long in our life is Jesus. Isn't it wonderful to know that Jesus is our friend and that he will never let us down, he will never fail us, he will never forsake us, he will always be with us. He's He's so close to us. We can tell him anything and he will listen and he, he talks to us and... It just brought such such security to me, such security to me, as I was thinking about, um, you know, just doing this little message this morning, thinking about my friend Kerry O'Sullivan, and then just thinking about Jesus and um, Christ said to his his disciples, "I have called you friends." Isn't that wonderful? I have called you friends in John fifteen fifteen. When God is our friend, He tells us His plans because friends talk to each other, don't they? They wanna you you wanna update. I remember rushing into the playground at in the morning at school and trying to find where Kerry, Kerry O'Sullivan was and Kerry, you know, this weekend, this happened, the other happened. And I wanted to tell her all, all, of, my informa all of my information and she wanted to tell me all of hers. You know, friends make time for each other. You know, when God is our friend, he tells us his plans for us and for all mankind. So with it, with our friendship with, with, with the Lord, it's not just about our relationship with him, but he starts to reveal things to other things to us you know, about nations, other people, communities around us. He starts to reveal his heart to us because a true friend trusts you and you trust them and you have a love in your heart for that friend and we have a love in our heart for Jesus and he is our true friends. Whatever happens, he will never let us down or fail us. 
And then in John um, 15, 14, he said, you are my friend if you do what I command you to do. You are my friend if you do what I command you to do. So in, in some respects, it's that sense of, you know, of, of being obedient and, and doing what the Lord wants us to do. You know, sometimes in friendships, people have said things behind each other's backs and, and, and it, it, some friendships have been hurtful and some friendships you, you suffer rejection and you fall out and, you know, all that kind of stuff. I remember a lot of that happening at school as well. But the Lord says in John 15, 14, he said, you are my friends if you do what I command you to do. It's just it's just wonderful to be able to find all these truths in the word this morning. Jesus tells us to obey him. We never tell him to obey us. And our obedience doesn't earn, but rather proves our friendship with him. So part of our friendship with the Lord is, is to obey him and is to, to walk with him and is to follow him and is to love him. And it's to, to be close to him because he wants to be close to us. And, and I just think it's, it, it's so wonderful to be able to, to look at the word of God and uh, to understand the word of God more and more each day and to see all the different, I, I suppose in some ways it's like facets on my, my uh, ring. I've got, um, it, it's got like different facets and it's, it's like in the word of God, there's lots of different facets in, in our relationship with the Lord. And, you know, th this morning I'm just talking about um, Jesus being our friend, but there, he's our saviour, he's our Lord, you know, he's our hope, he's our victory. There, there are so many names and there is so much about, um, God's character and, and his attributes, you know, I could go on for hours and hours and hours talking about all that, um, but I haven't really got time to do all that. But I just want to come back to the fact this morning to say that if if we have been let down and if, if a friend has hurt us, if somebody has hurt us, if somebody has turned their back on us, if somebody has caused us hurt and pain, just remember this morning, folks, that Jesus is our friend and he, he cares about us intimately. He loves us. And he's for us. And uh, it's almost like, I don't know if you, if this ever happened to you. I remember as a little girl, um, you know, in school, I'm talking about in school again, we would be, there'll be two teams that, and Miss would say, right, she'd have two people that would, uh, she'd put in charge and she'd say, right, you two, you pick out the person you want on your side, or you want on your team. And of course, you know what happens, don't you? They'll pick out the best people. I'll have such and such and I'll have such and such and I'll have such and such and I'll have such and such. And sometimes a couple of uh, two or three poor people were left till last. And if there was an odd person that they, they would just be there and miss it. I'd say, oh, you go over to there, you know, like that. And it's almost like that sense of sometimes people pick and choose you know, their, their friendships with, with, with other people and just how they are towards us. But the Lord doesn't do that. He's the one that always says, you know, I'm on your side. If 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 the Lord's going to pick anyone, he would pick us first. And, and we're on his team. We're on his side. Uh, we're on the victorious side. He's our friend. And, and we can totally and utterly depend on him as our friend, um, as our saviour, as our Lord. Whatever storms we might be going through, whatever's happening in our life, the Lord is our friend. And I just wanted to read out to you um, the, 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 just from this hymn book this morning. I just love the words. There's a couple of little um, hymns. I, I won't sing them, but I'll read out the words to you of these hymns. And one, one or two of these are really my favourites. What a friend we have in Jesus, all our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. All because we do not carry everything to God in pet prayer. Have we trials and temptations? Is there trouble anywhere? We should never be discouraged. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Can we find a friend so faithful? Nobody's more faithful than the Lord. Who will all our sorrow share? Jesus knows our every weakness. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Are we weak and heavy laden, cumbered with a load of care? Precious Saviour, still our refuge. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Do thy friends despise, forsake thee? Take it to the Lord in prayer. In his arms he'll take and shield thee. Thou will find a solace there. And I just think it's it's such beautiful words because sometimes friends do forsake us and uh, they do like um, turn their backs on us, maybe because they're trying to get something out of us. 
and, and want us to do something. But are they really true friends? You see, a true friend would love you despite, you know, what's happening. They'd stand by you and they'd be with you. And I just thought this was a lovely little, um, you know, words for him to, you know, to read out to you this morning. And then I found this other one, which I thought the words were fantastic again. And this, this, um, this is by Martin Smith and it's, it's, it's quite an old one. It's 1996. And, and listen to the words of this. What a friend I've found closer than a brother. I have felt your touch more intimate than lovers. Jesus, 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 friend forever. What a hope I've found more faithful than a mother. It would break my heart to ever lose each other. Jesus, 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 friend forever. And, and really, that just says it in the context of what I'm trying to say this morning, what Martin Smith is actually saying in this song. Jesus, Jesus, friend forever. The most important thing, folks, is that Jesus is our friend and we can come to him, we can confide in him about anything. We don't need to think we're going to wake up tomorrow and, you know, um, we've fallen out with him because it, the Lord is faithful. And, and as, as we looked in that first Tim, it talked about the Lord's faithfulness. He's faithful. He's there for us. He's with us. He's for us. He's all around us. And even when we sleep, he's there. So whatever we're facing in life, it might be that you say, well, you know, it, it, you know, it's brilliant. You know, I'm having a brilliant day and everything's, you know, really been working out well. Praise the Lord. We can even, even friends um, share good times together. And I remember with Kerry O'Sullivan, my little friend I was talking to you about at the beginning of this message, we, we shared lots of good times together. We used to... Um, Sometimes Kerry would bring her, <laughs> in them days, used to go into the shop, sweet shop and pick out all these sweets and, and in a big bag and you'd, you know, see how much, uh, you'd get loads of sweets for, um, you know, such a small amount of money and she'd, Kerry would come in with this big bag of sweets and, or, and she'd say, come on, which sweet do you want? Which sweet do you want to have? And we'd be, uh, before uh, the school started, we'd have be having some sweets or after the school ended, we'd be having some sweets if she had any left in her bag. You know, friendships, it's good times and it's hard times. But the most important thing is that we know that a friend that will never fail us and that will never let us down and that is always with us. And that is our wonderful saviour, Jesus, that we can utterly and totally depend on him. We can go to him at any time, in any place, anywhere. We haven't even got to pick up a phone. We haven't got to email him. We haven't got to text him. We can just talk to him and we can just tell him our concerns we can share our good times with him. We can share our difficult times with him and we can just um, express, you know, our love and admiration for him. So, Lord, I do just want to thank you for this little message this morning. Lord, thank you so much uh, for, for penetrating our hearts and lives. Thank you so much for imparting your love into our lives. Thank you that we can walk with you. Thank you for all the facets of who you are. Lord, of, of your character, of your attributes. Lord, there, there's so much. It's so vast. It's even more greater than the, 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 the widest and highest sea, the highest mountain. Lord, we thank you for the truth of who you are today, Lord. And Lord, just thank you that one of the aspects of our relationship with you is that you call us friends. And Lord, it's just so wonderful to know that intimacy, that relationship, that we are your friends and that we, we can take comfort in that, we can take joy in that, we can take delight in that. And Lord, it just it just means so much to us. So I just want to thank you for this little message this morning that you, you um, put on my heart to share uh, with, with us all. So I just pray that it would be an encouragement to many that are watching, Lord, um, just about who we are and how much you love us, Lord. We just thank you. And I place all of these wonderful people that are watching this morning into your hands. I place um, our families into your hands. I place, I place our nations into your hands. I place our churches, our ministries. Lord, we just come and we place everything into your hands. The, these are very turbulent times in the world with all that is happening. There's so many things and it does sometimes um, make us become a little bit anxious and we almost like start to look around and think, oh dear, but then we need to just come back to you in prayer and remember that we can come and we can pray and we can talk to you and that you will be to us all that we need um, for every day of our lives. So, Lord, we do just come this morning and we just place everything into your hands. What a friend we have in Jesus, all our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what sins we often forfeit. 
Oh, what needless pain we bear. All because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. So, Lord, we come and we carry everything to you in prayer and we place it into your hands, Lord. And we thank you for speaking to us. We thank you for encouraging us this morning. And we give you all the praise and glory. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for um, being with me this morning on this um, time and just the, the little message I've shared with you. And just pray that it, um, you, you would just be able to maybe listen to this again or just look up some of the Bible verses. Just let somebody else know that might need encouragement. They might need to hear the little message that will encourage them too this morning. So God bless you. Thank you so much for being with me. And I'll be on again. Keep watching the page. All the time I'm trying to bring encouragement, encouragement to God's people, encouragement to people that don't know the Lord. Every day I'm putting things on because I, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. I want people to know about Jesus. And the way to know about Jesus is to get it out on social media as well. So God bless you all. Have a lovely, have a lovely weekend and look after yourself. Take care now. Bye for now. Bye bye.